All right, so we're going to do a silvery smoky eye. It was on all the runways this season, and it's always a great, easy way to wear a smoky eye. So we're going to basically do a smoky eye, but we're going to use very silvery, shimmery shades. First thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight her brow bone. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to apply it to her brow bone, just right underneath the arch. Now, as with most smoky eyes, I like a little bit of shimmer on the inside corner because, once again, it will help keep the eye open. I'm actually going to use a pale matte pink cream. Once again, using my number 14 brush, look down for me, because I just want it right at the base very detailed area where it's going to affect her. Putting on that cream. So Robert, in some of the makeup videos I've seen, mm -hmm. like they'll do like a shimmery like all the way into here, but of course because my Asian eye like kind of got that hood. Mm -hmm. So how do Asians do well, make you, it shimmery? You do. Right you still put it there. Like that's what I'm going to do now. Is I'm uh -huh. putting the cream there first, so it'll make it more powerful. Um, but it won't connect. Like you'll right. do on top and you do on bottom, but it won't really connect. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that way you get the effect because you don't want to really highlight the hooded skin that you end up with mm -hmm. as much because then it's going to make it come out more. Okay. So now I'm just going to use a nice shimmery pinky beige and just patting it right on top of that cream. And if you pat it on top of the cream it's going to give you a more powerful color. Once again making sure you're staying below that Perfect. Yeah. Now I'm going to start with my mid-tone, which is going to have a little bit of an ochre almond color to it. And I'm going to go chin up a little bit. There we go. Just trying to get the base of the lash line, work it all the way across, working it up over all that fleshiness. Now, I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm just going to do a nice light layer of my mid-tone. I'm using my brush number 27 to lay it on, and then I'm taking my brush number 28 to blend it out. Because even though this is a smoky eye, it's not a dark smoky eye. It's like a fresh, kind of silvery, shimmery smoky eye. Making sure you blend really well, well where the mid-tone meets the highlight shade. But also making sure you're leaving enough definition. I'm really glad you said like it's not like a dark smoky eye because well, that's all I know how to do. I was a dark smoky. Yep. <laughs> but I think most people too, they think when they, they think smoky is dark. Yes. And actually smoky is an application t technique, it's not a color. Mm. So. Yeah, good luck curling your eyelashes if you want me to do it. Just let me know. 
<laughs> Girl, I'm good at it. Okay, as most of you know, I like to have a layer of mascara earlier versus later so I can start to see what I'm going to get from the lashes. Look down for me. Open, but look down. There you go. Um, so that way I can start to see what's happening. I'm glad to have the shortest eyelashes. You've you actually lashes. don't. You actually have very long ones. You think so? Yeah. You're the first person that ever told me that. <laughs> They're not as short as you think. They're just very straight and very sparse. They're not super thick. So on the eye that you're curling right now, mm -hmm. I have like three eyelashes that will not, like they just don't curl. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> so what kind of mascara are you using? I'm using Maybelline Lash Discovery because I love the brush oh. for my first layer. And you always want to make sure your first layer is waterproof because it helps hold the curl. And I find this waterproof is easier to get off than most waterproofs. I agree. I love waterproof. Yep. Well, for an Asian eye, too, you're better off with a waterproof, too, because if you blink too hard, your top lashes get on your body. It's the, yeah, the shape it's of the right. eye, it, then mm -hmm. it can be smeary underneath. Oh, honey, I know. Yeah, see. So yeah. <laughs> you're just better off. You have a lot of lashes for an Asian girl. What's your Asian heritage? You're awesome. Um, Vietnamese. Both my parents are from Vietnam. I wonder if that is where the freckles come from. Like if it's more of a V. What is Lucy, Lucy Liu? Is she? No, she's Chinese. She is Chinese? Okay. Well, Viet. I'm pretty sure I was There's adopted. Some. That's why I got oh, Okay. <laughs> so you're really Chinese, but you're Maybe. adopted. <laughs> So you said this is just the first layer. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with the second layer? What do you mean, what am I going to do with it? Like, you're putting another layer of different mascara? I could. Doesn't it become clumpy once it gets dry? No, it's, you actually, that's where you, you mess up is if you wait for it to dry, if you don't wait for it to dry. Oh. And actually, I thought this tube was newer than it is. I was telling Bart I need to go get a new tube. That's why it's taking me so long to get the first layer on. See, it was my clear one, and it was the newest, but it wasn't whatever. Okay. Now, in order for the Silvery Smoky to get, have more pow to it, I'm going to start off with a cream, kind of silvery gray cream, because any time you layer a powder on top of a cream, it will give you more color. Okay. Look down for me. And so I'm just going to start by layering my cream the area where I'm going to lay my silvery shadow on. And it's really no big deal to get it all the way up because you want the intensity closest to the lash line. So just getting some on there and then blending it up and out. You don't have to have an even layer of the cream all over the whole area. So are you supposed to only go out as far as your um Eyebrow? Is that what they Yes. Say? Nostrils through outer corner of the eye. That's as far out as you should go. Oh. Is that past my eyebrow? No. Okay. Okay. So we're laying a little bit of cream on. Now I'm going to go back over that. With my nice pretty silvery shimmer. So what colors look best with brown eyes? Everything. Okay. Brown, you get to wear it all. You're the winner. Mm. You're not, um, oh, that looks good. Um, <laughs> not that I should be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look down. Um, every color, because the brown won't compete. You know, if your eyes were blue and you were to wear purple, they would compete. Mm. But with brown, you don't compete, so you get to play with color. And you can see how that area where I laid on that cream really took more color, which was the whole reason for laying it on. So I get a little more pop at the base. Which creates a really nice effect.
just as a point of reference for people watching. This was her brow highlight. That was her highlight on the inside corner. This matte ochre color was her mid-tone. Then I did a gray cream. And this silvery taupe shade is her contour shade. So I'm first going to start by doing some black liner, just right, just right at the base. Open and look down for me. I'm really impressed you didn't poke me in the eye. Does it people people normally poke you in the eye? Oh, a lot of times. <laughs> no. Like then? I usually don't have people doing my makeup. But I normally close my eye when I'm doing it. Oh. So what's the advantage of keeping it open? The advantage of looking down and keeping it open is you actually get to see right at the base. Mm -hmm. When you close your eye, it squishes it down so you can't get really at the full base of your lash. Mm. And especially for you, because you're your eye shape, mm -hmm. the closer you are to the base, the better off you're going to be as far as it bleeding onto other areas of the eyelid and just staying put for yourself. I notice some guys put like eyeliner in the, in the wet tissue, yes. The thing about putting it on the inside wet tissue of your eyes, it closes the eye in. So if you don't have big eyes, it's to make them look smaller. Okay. So it's not your best friend. Yeah, I, I never tried. Open and look down for me. Now look down. There you go. Now I'm taking my flat 18 brush and some matte black shadow, and I'm going over that liner to set it and smudge it out a bit. Why are you going over it? For it sets it. Look? Yes. Well, I always, I will always um, set my eyeliner with shadow, just because it gives it a better setting. It's, it smudges it out a bit. Mm. It just looks softer. And for the smoky eye, it's probably better to use the, like the kind of pencil you use instead of liquid, right? Yes, liquid would give you too harsh of a line, which would go kind of against the idea of smoky. Mm. So I'm going to go away. We're going to clean up underneath her eyes, get rid of all this uh, excess that we dropped. I'm going to put some false eyelashes in the outer corner, and then foundation, and we'll be back to finish the eye. Okay, so we cleaned up underneath her, underneath her eyes, got rid of all that shadow fallout. I added some false lashes to the top. They're not very dramatic ones because I wanted them to be pretty soft. And then I put her foundation or concealer on underneath. Now, I'm going to finish her eyes. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my mid-tone, my number 13 brush, look up for me, and I'm just going to smudge it into the bottom lashes. Okay. Okay, now I've finished the mid-tone. Now I'm going to go back over it. Look up for me. I'm going to take a little bit of my cream, just at the base. Once again, it's going to really help give me a powerful payoff with the, the, that darker color when I put it on. I'm keeping it right at the base of the lashes. And then I'm going to go over it again with my number 13 brush with my silvery contour shade. Look up. Now, too, because I did it with a, a um, cream first, and then I went over it with the shadow, I should have less chance of smearing and smudging with your eye shape.
Now I'm going to mascara your lower lashes. And then I'm going to mascara your top lashes. Now the trick to really getting false lashes to look like they're yours mm -hmm. is to mascara your lashes into them. Open and look down. And then to make sure you get the lashes in this interior part. So there's not a sudden stopping point from the false lash to yours. So do you ever not do like the first layer of eyelashes and then just put the false on false on, and then do them both together because then they kind of like mesh together? I don't because I can't get the curl as perfect as I want oh. and I feel like I can't get the dark as close to the base of the lashes. But at the same time, it's not going to be a deal breaker if you did. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's mm -hmm. not like going to make it not look good. It's kind of, kind of in those kind of instances, it's what you're used to doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You get in your routine and your habit, and you kind of go with what you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to start to bronze you, do some contouring. So I'm going to take a matte bronzer. I'm going to go right barely underneath your cheekbone. Then we bring it down onto your jaw. And up on your temples. So what face shape would you say I have? Square. Which is less common when you're dealing with Asian faces. They're either oval or round more often than square. But you're pretty square. Maybe you were adopted. <laughs> do you look like your sister? We actually do look a lot alike, but she does look a little more Asian than you. Her eyes are like a little more cat-like. You know? Yeah, because you're you round in the middle, mm -hmm. which is... And she has no freckles. I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer. My number 11 brush, and I'm going to go right along the nose to give you just a little bit more of a bridge. I don't like your flat nose. I love your flat nose. Look at mine. <laughs> if we could meet in the middle, we'd be both be happy. I like my nose. I know, you've got a you've got a nice little petite nose. I'm just trying more of a bridge. You know what's funny though? I could use a little more of a bridge, especially with my um, sunglasses and stuff. Yeah, they, yeah. Just, they sit on my cheeks, cheeks not yeah. on my nose. Yeah. Whereas my have the opposite problem. I have a very high bridge, <laughs> so sometimes they sit up too far. Mm. So what exactly are you putting in there? Just some bronzer. Mm. It also blends your brow in. With everything. That way it's not sitting up there all by itself. Didn't you put a light color uh, right underneath my... Right there. Oh. Not all the way across, just oh, right there. So you never want it all the way across. Why? Because it would make, it disconnect between your brow and you'd have this white puffy spot. Oh. Do you put white all the way across or light all the way across? Mm-hmm. You're making a mistake. Mm, that looks pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I doubted you had much of a self-confidence issue. When God said self-confidence, you got in line. Mm. I created self-confidence. You did? Mm. <laughs> Somebody had to. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a nice peachy glowy color for your cheeks. Small for me. 
to accentuate your freckles. No, I'm just kidding. You probably don't normally wear blush, do you? No, I do actually. Okay. But I, my color's a little bit, um, not as pink as what you used. Would, is that the color you'd recommend? Yeah, because it just looks fresh. Okay. And you don't want it to have full on shimmer, you just want it to have a hint of shimmer. Where at? In the blush. Okay. Because you know, a lot of some blushes are super shimmery, like these. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one you can't really tell. This just has a hint of it in there. Okay. And I know that because I created it. <laughs> it's a shade I created. All right, now we are gonna do your lips because once again, it is a smoky eye. I just want a really soft beige lip. I'm gonna conceal your natural lip color away. Just using a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna lightly conceal away your natural lip color. Just so that we don't have a definite line to your edge of your lips. Well, you know the little creases inside the lip, like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. How do you get rid of, you don't? You mm -mm. Just That's just your lips. Some people just happen to have more creases than others. Probably because you live where it's so dry, it mm -hmm. probably accentuates yours more than they would be if you lived in an area that was more humid. Which is just your cross to bear. But yeah, it, it has nothing to do with anything that you've done or it's just, that's just you. Would you recommend putting like maybe some lipstick underneath? But then uh, well, it wouldn't stay, huh? Won't stay, it. but lip gloss never does. I'm just gonna do a gloss, mm -hmm. so it's not gonna hurt you. But you don't want chapstick, because chapstick is a wax, it has no moisture to it. You want like a lip moisturizer if you're gonna do it. So I'm just taking a nice beige. Are you a fan of lip stain? Um. I would think during the winter it'd be next to impossible to wear it up here because it won't grab evenly if your lips were chapped at all. Mm. Uh, I'm not not a fan. It's not something I go to very often because I usually like a paler lip. Mm. But I think it's great for its purpose, which is if you want some color that's going to last all day, that's just you know like a hint, almost like you natural lips kind of bitten color. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. There's you're not going to beat it beat it for like the wearability and. Dang, girl, you clean up good. You know it. You know it. Okay. Um, okay, so as you see, we've done a smoky eye, a silvery smoky eye on her. The main things you need is you need your, your different eye colors. Um, once again, with this smoky eye, as I've been doing lately, I did a lighter shimmery shade on the inside corner of the lid, lid a darker uh, skin tone shade, matte shade on the brow bone. Need, you need that mid-tone, that nice almondy mid-tone, and then my shimmery silver for my accent color, my contour color. So, on her eyes, we started with a matte blush color as her cream shadow, layered a shimmer pink on top of it, a shimmer champagne pink on top of it. Then we used a matte beige on her brow bone. Then I used an almond matte mid-tone, and then a very shimmery pink silver contour shade. On her cheeks, she just has a bit of apricot on the apples, and then on her lips, a very beigey, sandy color. 